Okay, this is to show you uh, what the Tons Multi Controller 7095, and uh, I've got two pumps, uh, two Tons pumps, 6105s connected to my system. You've got various different displays here. Food timer, when you push this, it stops all the pumps um, uh, for about five minutes, so that it allows you to feed your fish without um, too much current stirring the food and sinking it too quickly. Uh, night mode, which means once the uh, uh, little sensor over here detects your, your lights go off in the evening, uh, the pumps reduced to a slow flow, uh, and then you've got a moonlight, which I don't use. I've got moonlights built into my uh, my lighting system already. Different intervals, so pulse, which will basically take it from whatever your settings are, from the minimum to the maximum. So from a 10% uh, water volume right up to 100% water volume. You can control your currents. You've got intervals, which is with your titles, etc., as well. It allows you to have four pumps standard. And with the tons extender, you can extend it out to eight pumps in total. I've also got a wave box, a nano wave box on my system here that's um, I've got uh, not working at the moment. It's got so much flow with my uh, 6105s. Come over the tank. You can just sort of see on the top of the water the amount of water movement that's actually happening there. Uh, they go up to 13,000 litres an hour. And this is a six foot tank. And I've limited them slightly because um, I don't want water flowing over the top of the tank. A bit of an idea from underneath there as well. There's really good water flow. If you look at this cult coral, it's waving quite nicely there. You have a look around the tank, you can see everything. It's got a good brisk current to it. I'll just take you around the other side of the tank. So there's one of my 6105s there with the new magnet holders which are far superior than the old ones that used to have to hang over the top of the tank or silicon into the tank. Just got a magnet on either side, it's got a bracket, it's got some dampeners there and um, I've got mine on uh, sequential one I think at the moment so tied flow from, uh, from one side of the tank to the other and then reverses around in six hours time. So there's not a lot of flow coming out of that pump there at the moment but you can still see Giardini uh, down there, waving nicely, cold coral. And I come over to this side, there's my other 6105, and that one at the moment's um, on about a 50% uh, percentage flow. So you get really good water movement around your tank. There's not too many dead spots in my tank, especially when the weight box is going as well. Again, you can just see the water flow on the top of the tank there. It's good aeration for oxygen and good current for the waste products all to be carried down below to get to get treated. Hope that helps.